Good morning, everyone. So we just went through the process of creating an R project. We named the uh, project Downloading Data with R, and I saved it in my, inside my <clears throat> folder called Finlitz Master. Okay. So this is the main folder. And then I created this uh, project, one downloading data with R. Okay, the introduction to financial analytics that this is what we did before. Maybe I'm going to change this into zero, zero into to financial analytics. Okay, so if I open this, nothing here yet, just the R project. And what we're going to use now is I'm going to make use of a file. Okay, this one, quant mode comprehensive, I'll put it here. Okay, put it there so that here in that project, we can now see that RMD file, quant mode comprehensive. Okay, kindly please chat if you're able to follow, if you were able to create this object, you may name it any way you want. I'm just naming it downloading data with R. Okay, thank you. Let's give a few more uh, seconds to our classmates to open that project. I hope by now you realize importance of creating a project for a particular, uh, for a particular, let's say uh, you're going to do some analysis and you're going to use some data. It's best to use a project uh, to store or to house your, uh, your analysis, your data and your RMD file. Okay, a few more seconds. One, two. We haven't even reached the 50% mark. If you're done creating the R project, kindly please chat. Okay, good, good, thank you, thank you. So we now have an R project, and if you open that R project, of course you will not, you will find this. There is no R script, there's no uh, R markdown because we haven't uh, worked on that project yet. Okay, so let me just, okay, display the source window. Now, I'm going to make use of this file. You don't have this file yet. And uh, I'll be sharing just a few just a few codes with you because I want you to be doing the code yourself. Okay. So, and uh, by the way, reminder, I, I was looking at your, uh, your updates about the viewing of the uh, data and data structures. I, I noticed that uh, for some of you, there were there was no movement yet. I hope you'll be able to accomplish this within the weekend. Okay. Please spend some time, uh, do invest uh, some minutes or some a few hours listening, to, watching the video and following along. It will help you, especially that will be the coverage of our first face-to-face -face quiz. It's all about data and data structures. Okay, so I'm opening this RMD file, which I, which I saved before. So I'm loading it here. Of course, you don't have this because I want you to be writing the code yourself as a means of mastery, establishing mastery in R. Okay, so this is an RMD file. And when I click this, it will open. It will have a uh, there, okay, a new RMD file, which is this one. Okay, the name of the file is quant mode comprehensive one. Okay. All right, so just open a new RMD file in your case, okay, and then delete the uh, the sample. Okay, and when you're ready, please chat again so that I know when to continue. 
So after this one, there should be nothing. Okay. When you open your RMD file, remember that you have uh, you have some sample code chunks there, sample plots of pressure, the summary of cars. We're not going to need that. We're going to create our own project. Okay, so are you done? Are you ready? Any chat, please? Thank you. Very good. So let's give your classmates a few more seconds to open a new RMD file. Okay. Inside this downloading data with R. Okay, good. So a few more seconds. Okay, thank you. Okay. It's important that I pace myself because I don't want you to be lagging behind okay, because this is already the start of uh, of our formal lesson in financial analytics. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Now in R, okay, the beauty about R is that there are many contributors, okay, many who do programming, many who know how to program in R, and they contribute to the uh, to the archive. To R itself. So R like, looks at this uh, contribution. Oops, excuse me, my battery is showing blue. Okay. Hold on, class. As I was saying, uh, the reason why R is very popular and very powerful is because there are so many contributors to the uh, language itself. So there are many who are knowledgeable about R programming, and they come from different fields, whether it's social sciences, sociology, psychology, uh, ecology, natural sciences, engineering uh, field, uh, finance, ec economics, name it, uh, you have it. So R becomes more robust because there are so many contributors. And th that uh, those uh, uh, programs are stored in CRAN. And then it's made available to everyone so we can access the programs. Now, in this subject, we're going to focus on some very important uh, packages, okay. Quant mode is one of them, and then uh, see, uh, okay, I have it here, okay. You have technical trading rules, TTR, you have performance. Portfolio analytics. And for uh, data manipulation, you have uh, tidyverse together with uh, dplyr, okay? And of course, uh, you have xts object, xts, uh, okay? And so, so many others you can include here, quant quando, okay? So these are just some of the packages that we were going to make use of in this subject. And this, uh, this uh, package is, provide a lot of uh, a lot of uh, power a lot of computing power okay, for example take the, take the case of quant mode uh, so first things first how do we load packages in r pretty sure you don't have these packages yet unless you were my student last term so let's first check if you have quant mode for example so in the files plots and packages window you go here to packages and then, okay, kindly type here, 
So packages and then kindly type here quant mode and tell me what you see. In my case, I'm seeing here quant mode. Could you could you please chat? What do you see when you type here quant mode? Nothing. Okay, thank you, Renee. Okay, for Joshua, there is for Chelsea. Uh, most probably, see Josh, he, either he was my student before or uh, na load niya yung package, even not inside my class. Okay, ah, okay, si, si Joshua na, na download na yung package. Very good. All right, for most of you, wala pa yung ano, no? wala pa yung, yung package na yan. No? So, how do we, how do we load? How do we install a package in R? Okay, so let's first let's first learn how to do that. So let's create a code chunk. May I know what's a what's the shortcut for code chunk class? What's the shortcut for creating this? Because it will take long if you type back ticks and then curly brackets and then R, then maybe put a name to it, and then curly brackets okay so this is a code chunk and it will take long because you're you have to type several uh, several uh, characters there what's a shortcut anyone okay notice i didn't type each of these individually the shortcut is control alt and i i think in mac control plus alt Plus I. For Mac users, kindly confirm it's. I think it's command, command, command function I ba. Mac users, please kindly confirm. Command option I. Thank you, Vince. So for Mac users, it's command. Command plus option plus I. Okay, so Mac users done. For Windows users, it's Control Alt I. All right, once again, class, again, please remember this keyboard shortcuts because imagine you're going to type this, it will take long. It will take you several keyboard. Uh, uh, types, okay, characters. All right, did it work in your in your case? We either co control Alt I or Command Option I. May I have feedback from you, please? Did it work? Okay, good, good. Okay, I'm sure it worked for everybody. Okay, good. So that's a shortcut. Please remember that shortcuts that are very helpful to us, especially we're going to work with RMD or QMD, and we need these uh, shortcuts. Okay, so in order to install a package, you make use of this function, install that packages. Okay, open parentheses and then quotes, and then type the name quant mode okay now r is very sensitive to uh, to capitalization so if you have any mistake here in capitalizing for example you capitalize r it will render an error term or quant mode you capitalize q it will generate an error term uh, error message also so make sure that you uh, spell correctly okay because r is unforgiving as far as uh, as far as wrong spelling is concerned, even in in capitalization. Okay, so when I run this, okay, kindly run, please. Control enter or click this or click run. What happens? Okay, I want your feedback, please. When you run install that packages and then quant mode, because that's the package that we're going to use, what happened?
Okay, thank you, Renee. So according to Renee, it installed quant mode. How about for the others? Any feedback, please? Did R install quant mode in your case? Okay, good. Okay, for some, okay, uh, because uh, there are certain packages that would need certain, dep that have certain dependencies. Okay, so for example, Kai Vince, he said that it installed R tools first and then quant mode. Sometimes it will ask, it will tell you, you cannot install quant mode because you have to install a particular package first. So you have to follow that, okay? Because some packages have dependencies. They're dependent on other packages. So you need to install that specific package and then proceed to install the uh, the package that you want to install. Okay, good, thank you. Warning, uh, Chelsea, what was the warning about? Uh, sir, sinabi lang parang warning our tools is required to build our packages but is not currently installed. Yun lang. Ayun, for, for example, ganun, no? Sabi rin Chelsea, sinabing ano daw, kailangan daw yung R tools bago ma ma-load si quant mode. So, ang gagawin nyo dyan, install nyo muna si R tools. Okay, ganito muna, install that packages R tools. Okay, and then after that, saka na yung install that packages quant mode. Okay po, sir. Thank okay. you. Sige, I think that's that's what happened to sino yung kanina, sino yung nag kanina. Narinikwar mo ni R tools. Who was that? Sorry. Si Vince, no? Vince, is that what you did? You first installed R tools? Vince, did you download? Did you install? Ah, kay Vince, iba naman. Automatically, nag-install nag na si R tools. Tapos ano? Sometimes, uh, these are the quirk, quirks of R. So we don't know what, what happened. But in the case of Vince, R tools automatically installed. And then, so it proceeded to uh, install quant mode. In the case of Chelsea, it required Chelsea to first install R tools. Okay. So feedback, Chelsea, were you able to install R tools and then quant mode? I'm not sure if it's, is it okay if you guide mo ako, sir? Yeah, sige, sige. Okay, parang, sure. Sure. Sandali, ah. Let me so stop share sir. muna. Sige, please share your screen. Okay, sir. I think mawawala yung aking um, mic pag mag-share ako. Pero wait lang, sir. Um, ito po, sir. Ayan po. I okay. tried yung sinabi mong... Install one. that package is our tools. Tapos our ito tools rin, rin po rin. Not... Please download and install the appropriate version. Okay, tapos... tapos... Ito pinigay ito. Napakadaming links po. Okay. Ito po, ayan. And then, nung trinay ko i-run, same siya on this side. So. Ayaw, ano? Pero okay Ayaw. lang kasi, tina mo, may quant mode ka na eh. Tina mo Apa. sa packages sa ilalim. Yes pa. Okay, so, so okay, na. okay na yan. Okay na. So, pag okay, nag-error siya sa, ano, sa R tools, no? Pero, when you check the packages and may quant mode na, okay, Apa. okay na ka na. Ah, kasi okay, ang, ang kailangan natin yung quant mode, no? Ah, sige po. Sige, sige good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Chelsea. All right. Appreciate those questions. Thank you for those questions. Share screen with ako. Okay. Now, how do you know that that? Uh, oops, sorry. Ano yari don? Accidentally clicked. Stop share. How do I know if a particular package is installed? Well, for one, it will give a message that the package has already been been installed, either in the console or in your script window. Secondly. If you go to packages, whereas a while ago, when you type quant mode here, it did not appear here. Now, it can, it should appear. Okay? So, I'm hoping that all of you have quant mode installed in your, in your uh, computers. All right. Now, when you load quant mode, you're not able to automatically uh, use the functions. Let's first take a look at the functions of quant mode. So why don't we click here? 
So in the under packages, okay, click, do not click this one, okay? Click quant mode first, click this one. Okay, and let's see where it will bring us. It will bring us to the help, help tab here. Okay, and <clears throat> let's first take a look at, you can have some information here. Description file, let's click this. All right, so what's this all about? This is package is quant mode. It's quantitative financial modeling framework. This is exactly what our subject is. And the version is 0 0.4.25. And the authors are, these are very um, well-known authors uh, as far as R is concerned, okay? See Jeffrey Ryan, see Joshua Ulrich. These are mga sa finance class mga kilala to, no? Okay? And ano yung dependencies daw niya? Depends on R. Dapat yung R natin greater than 3.2.0. That's okay. R, your R now is 4.4.0. It also needs XTS. It needs the zoo package. And it needs the TTR uh, technical trading rules. Okay? And also the, pa the methods uh, package. All right? So uh, some of you did not, did not, for example, download XTS or Zoo or TTR. But when you check, when you check your packages again here, packages, can you do that now? Packages. Remember, we're in help tab. Packages. And then why don't you type TTR, technical trading rules. Okay, and tell me what happened. Is it there in your, is it installed there in your, Computers, please chat yes. Yes or no, please. Okay, good. And should be yes. Okay. All right, hold on, class. Hold on. Okay, so as I was saying, when you uh, installed quant mode, okay, you'll notice that uh, we didn't check this a while ago, but if you check TTR, in your packages, it would not have appeared. Now it's here, it's uh, installed also. So which means that when you load some packages, uh, sometimes there are packages that come with other packages. Okay, for example, the package tidyverse. Okay, if you load it, there are several packages that come in installed with it. Okay, so did you see your uh, technical trading rules, the TTR? You should have seen it when you installed uh, when you installed quant mode. All right, so going back here, it's important for us to really learn what a package is all about, okay? So a while ago, I looked at description, okay? And you can visit this one, okay? This is the URL, quantmode.com. Okay, the author is... Uh, I think the primary author is Joshua Ulrich. Okay. And it was published on, uh, this is, I think, the up, updated version already. Okay. So here are some very important information about the package itself. So if you go back here, let me back, go back here. Okay. If you take a look at this one, this is now a, the, many functions that come with it. So imagine, I think more than 300, if I'm not mistaken, this is just letter A, okay? Uh, and then uh, the other functions, I think there are more than 300 functions here that you can use in order to work on your data, okay? One of the uh, functions that we're going to use is because we're, you, we're, our topic now is downloading data, we're going to use this very powerful function, this one, get symbols. Okay, get symbols, load and manage data from multiple sources. So you can, it has also get symbols dot alpha vantage, get symbols dot AV, Bloomberg, etc. Okay, Fred also, MySQL, etc. Get symbols that Wanda also, okay, etc. So uh, there are many functions here that we can use. For example, also this one add 
add BB bands, add Bollinger bands, add commodity channel index. These are technical trading. Uh, 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 I can call it charts. Okay, you can call it charts or moving average, add moving average, add DEMA, okay, etc. So you can Im just imagine so many many functions that you can use using quant mode and we will experience that okay now there are, uh, as i said okay let let me go back here to the packages and let me go back to quant mode here quant mode now quant mode when you load quant mode you cannot automatically access the functions that i showed you a while ago you have to load this first because it it's it has already been installed but not necessarily loaded so how do you load a particular package you load a particular package by using where am i here okay this function library and then quant mode no more no more codes or the same as require quant mode Okay, so you can either use the library function or the require function. Okay, so let's run this inside our code chunk. Let's run library, library quant mode. Okay, control enter. And observe, observe what happens here. Notice our quant mode is here, right? Under the packages. Now, this is not yet checked. No check here. Okay, if I run library quant mode, Control enter. Okay, notice what happened. There was a check. There is now a check here. So having a check here in the packages window pane means that your the package is readily available for your use. Okay. So here, when we loaded, uh, when we required quant mode, it says here loading required package XTS zoo. Okay, XTS zoo, and then what does it tell us? There are some uh, information here about masking, which we're going to explain. And then also here, loading required package, TTR. Okay, now let's go back to TTR. Let's see what happened. TTR, if I type it. Sir? Okay. Yes? Uh, I got an error for... Error saan? Uh, it says error attempt to use zero length variable name. Okay, sandali lang ha. Stop muna ako ha. Okay, can you share your screen please? Uh, Renee, hindi makita. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hindi ko mabasa. Hindi mo siya pwedeng maano? Ma How do we do this? Hindi ko kasi mabasa eh. Oh, sir, I can join from my laptop. Yeah, sige, sige, please. Okay, while Rene is uh, trying to join via laptop, uh, how about the others? Did you see your uh, technical trading rules, the TTR package also check? What we loaded only, what we required only is quant mode, library quant mode or required quant mode. And what happened was, okay, so... Uh,
All right. Pero nag, ano na yung, ano mo yun, no? Nag-load na si quant mode. Nasa packages na, no? All right. Sige. I-X mo nga muna yung error message. X mo muna. Okay. Escape ka nga muna. And, sige. Rene, uh, since uh, there's no more problem with the loading of the package quant mode, kasi it's already reflect, reflected there in your packages, uh, why don't you just click that? I-click mo yung quant mode dun sa packages window. Uh, yung box to the left, no. Back ka. Uh, go to packages. Yung box to the left. Leftmost. Leftmost. Yan. Click mo yan. Okay. Now take a look, class. No? Tingnan yung console ni Rene. Uh, Rene, could you uh, increase the console window pane niya? Tingnan natin kung ano nangyari. All right. Take a look. No? Yung yung last na, na the last thing that she did was to click quant mode. And what was reflected above, Rene, paki paki uh, paki scroll dun sa paki uh, paki pakita mo yung library quant mode. Hindi, hindi, sa taas. Not not there, not there, not there. Sa sa console. Sa console window. Yan, 'di ba may error yan, 'di ba? Error attempt, right? Yan yung kanina, di ba? That was the code a while ago. Now, when Rene click quant mode, what happened? Ang code na lumabas dyan, library quant mode. Okay? So, what do we learn here? Clicking that box in the packages window is equivalent to writing library of that package. Okay? So, you see, uh, what Rene did was just to click yung quant mode and then automatically sa console, what appeared was library quant mode. And then it loaded already. Okay, so sabi yan, lib, uh, loading required package, XCS, zoo, PTR also. Okay, so we're okay. Okay na siya. So loaded na tong ano, loaded na tong ano. And Rene, could you kindly, uh, in the search button, could you kindly type TTR? I-type mo dyan TTR. Notice, no? Naka ano na, naka check na rin si TTR. Try mo rin si XTS. XTS. Naka check na rin si XTS, okay? Try mo si Zoo. Okay, naka check na rin si Zoo. All right. So these are packages that Rene did not uh, did not install, di ba? So when she installed quant mode, automatically ininstall na rin yan kasi dependency siya. Because quant mode will not work without these other packages. So when quant mode was uh, installed, pinogram nila in, in such a way that the other packages come with it. Okay, I hope that's clear to you. And then we said that we cannot automatically make use of the functionalities of that package quant mode. What do we have to do? We have to load it. How do you load it? Either library quant mode and requ or require quant mode. Two things, two ways to do it. Number one, in a code chunk or number two, dun sa packages mismo, i-click nyo yung, ano, yung, yung package na yun. Okay? Thank you, Rene. Thank you for that question and thank you for allowing ourselves to learn from your experience. No? Okay? Are there any more questions? Okay. Uh, did that answer your question, Rene? Uh, yes, po, sir. Thank okay, you. Good. good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so once again, paki-feedback class if uh, all of us are Okay, as of the moment, nakakahabol ba? Kindly please uh, chat yes na lang, please. Very important sa akin yung feedback. No? Okay, waiting for the others. Dalawa pa lang nag-feedback. Okay, how about the others? Feedback, please. Thank you. All right. So let's now let's load the other packages. So these are the other packages that we need to load. 
Okay. So also install that packages. Okay. Is there a uh, is there a shortcut instead of loading it one by one? Yes, you can you can actually load it together. Or there's a shortcut, but we'll do that next time. Let's start first with the basics. So install that packages. Okay, and then you can combine C. Okay, so uh, in my case, when you loaded quant mode, you already loaded also PTR. So no use uh, loading that. So just load Quando, Performance Analytics, and Tidyverse. XTS was also loaded together with quant mode. So there are three other packages that we want loaded. Quando, okay, so how do you do that? Like this, Quando. Okay. Performance analytics and also portfolio. And there's this other one. What did I mention a while ago? Yeah, type diverse. Very important. And let's also include tidy quant, please. Tidy quant. Okay. All right. So you can install packages at the same time. However, when you load this, you cannot you cannot use library and then C, combine all of them. No, you cannot do that. You have to load it one by one. So either you load it from the packages window pane or just to use the code chunk, library or require. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds, please. So load these packages, and when you're done, kindly uh, message me, PM me if you're done, so that I know. Okay, let me pause.